Well, it already makes fancy electric cars. Now Tesla wants to power your home. CEO Elon Musk unveiling a line of home and industrial battery packs late last night. An ambitious move out of the electric car market. It gives you safety, security, uh, it, it, and it gives you a complete and affordable solution. And the cost of this is $3,500. Well, should homeowners rush to buy these battery packs? We're asking Luis Rincon, a tech expert and CEO of wearables.com. Luis, great to have you with us. So, so what do you think? Will it get some traction, battery-powered homes? First of all, thanks for having me, Lori. Uh, I, I think we'll certainly see some traction. Presently, you can only reserve or pre-order these power, uh, power walls. They're still slated to come out in summer of 2015. Uh, businesses have to wait even a little bit longer than that. Tesla has already said they'll make a bigger push into the business market, uh, industrial market in 2016. I think we'll see some traction. I think a lot of people, the majority of the consumer market is going to wait to see what the data comes back and says. It's all about cost savings. There is a huge portion. Well, huge might be expanding. There's a portion of people that are just going to jump on this because they want to be part of the Tesla movement. Uh, but overall, I think most consumers are going to wait to see what the data says. Is it truly practical to go this route, to get batteries to power your home versus just tapping into the regular old electricity grid. If you do the math, it's $3,500 for one 10 kilowatt battery, which only gives you 10 hours of power. For my research, I guess you can get nine batteries and stack them up. That's gonna set you back over $31,000, but you'll get 90 hours of power. And that doesn't include the cost of installation and some other tools you need to get up and running. So is it really cost effective in the end? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, stacking nine batteries, uh, that, that would be a pretty substantial home, I think. Uh, <laughs> this, you know, the Tesla has come out and said that it's not about completely taking you off the grid, though that is possible. It's more so just about shifting that energy. In fact, load shift, which is a term that they use, which essentially just means it charges during non-peak hours, so when electricity is cheaper, and it discharges during peak hours, which is the evening traditionally. It, it's meant to reduce your cost overall. So really it's about, do you have enough energy storage in that capacity of those 10 kilowatt hours to sort of offset what your cost would be if you just went straight from the grid. Gotcha. That's an important point. It's interesting for a lot of people who've dealt with power outages in their home. Obviously here on the East Coast, we've had, we had Hurricane Sandy a couple of years ago and practically, well here in the, in the New York tri-state area with so many power outages and people were out for oh, over a week. And so you look at something like this, oh, this is a fantastic solution. But then again, when you see the short battery uh, times, uh, usage times, it's kind of kind of a buzzkill, actually. I understand what you're saying, that, you know, the, the solar power can recharge them, but, I mean, is it a really practical solution to a, to, to a generator? Sure. So what you said is, is a huge point, right? So it's, it's both a battery, so there's something about security in case there is some sort of natu you know, natural disaster where, or even just a, a traditional blackout where you need that, ba that power. Your house never actually goes off, the, off that energy source. Uh, but there is also the sense of you, you got to ask yourself, am I using this because I want to be safe or am I using this because I want to lower my energy bill? Um, th this is trying to change the entire energy infrastructure of the U.S. That is a massive undertaking. And traditionally, when you try to do something that big, the initial costs are going to be high. So I wouldn't be surprised if the data initially comes back saying, oh, it's a little bit higher than we expected. But over time, if it does see adoption rate, you know, this is good not just for renewable energy sources. It's good for the entire energy grid if, it's being, if energy is being stored and discharged in a more intelligent fashion. I mean, it's really, really cool technology. The question is, you know, how does it interact with the existing grid technology? Are you using this because you want to be safe? Do I want to lower my bills? Do I have a Tesla already? Do I just like Elon Musk? There's a lot of questions you got to answer. Uh, Elon Musk, certainly not a small thinker, that's for sure. Well, we'll keep up with this. be interesting to see where it goes, Luis. In the meantime, thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Lori. Well, coming up this